What's up YouTube, it's Jackson with Professional Hunters here. Today I'm gonna be showing you a how-to, how to saddle hunt. I'm gonna be showing you how to set up the sticks, how to set up your saddle, how to put the platform on the tree, how to pack it in. I'm gonna be using the hawk saddle with the hawk climbing sticks. So when you get your hawk saddle, it'll come with a bag, the saddle, the black rope is the rope you climb with. The black and yellow rope is the rope you'll be hanging from. This is a hammock. Support your back. Very awesome if you have back pain. Then you'll get three carabiners and a rope grab. Then moving on to the sticks. These are the hawk sticks. Two steps come in four packs. They connect together just like this. You'll be able to connect all four. Bam. So first thing you want to do when you get the saddle, is you want to attach this bag. So this bag, I like it on the right side. So the side with the hawk will be the back. Your butt will go on this side. So the way to attach the bag, you'll have to put these through these loops. The best way is to use a pencil or a screwdriver, something skinny to push it through. It's pretty hard to do if you're just gonna use your hands. And that way, when you have the bag on, you'll be able to store your ropes and plenty enough room for your hammock all right so that's what it looks like once you get them through the holes it will not come out unless it's like that and then you just put all your ropes in there now the carabiners show you where to put those so these black loops on the side right here you want one carabiner on each side And then the rope right here, this is what's gonna connect you. So you want a carabiner on that. And that, that's pretty much set. All you need. Now, I'll show you how to put the sticks on a tree. And then this is a platform. This is not the hawk platform, this is the tethered platform pretty much the same thing they're all the same really they all use basically the same straps i'll show you how to do all that catch you on the tripod all right so you got these loops where your legs go through make sure the rope's on the outside or else you'll have to take it off and do it over again put your legs through the loops and you got these clips Make sure the rope is straight because it will not go together if it's not straight. Not twisted. No. And you can tighten these up. I prefer them loose when I'm walking in. And then I'll situate once I'm in the tree. And then you got your two carabiners and your one hanging down here. And when I'm walking in, I like to just clip it right there so it's not dangling in the way. Now let's set it up on a tree. Alright, you find you a nice tree straight up. You grab your climbing stick. Hold out the legs. Go strap around. You're gonna, you got loops on your rope. You just wanna put the loop or the rope. Doesn't have to be completely tight. You want the rope to be up high. And you wanna pull down. You wanna lift it up, pull down. And it's locked in. Alright. Now. 
to climb up the tree with the rope for safety. You got your two loops on the side. Bam. You're going to reach in your bag. You're going to pull out your black rope. You got one loop on the end. Clip that loop in. And then you got this black knot that you can slide and move. You want to clip the other side in that after you get it around the tree. You want to throw it around the tree. Clip the black loop. And bam. You got your climbing rope. Now, you just step up on the tree. Hold on to the rope. Lift yourself up. Bring it up high. That's all you had to do. You want to go down? Same thing. Opposite. That's it. Now, you want to attach your stand. You're going to have a loop. A little, another loop. You're going to want to throw it around the tree. Put the loop where this loop is. Tighten it up. Same thing with the sticks. You want to lift up the rope as high as you can get it. Tighten it. Pull it down. Push it down. And it's, it's locked in. Right. Let me move the camera so y'all can see what I'm doing oh, once I get up there. Stand on your platform. You can move this knot just by pulling it with your hand. Bam. You're in there. Now, you pull out your other rope, the black and yellow one. Bam, you got a loop on this side. And same thing, you got a black rope. But this looks bigger. That's how you tell the difference between the black one and the yellow one. You want to loop this up. I like it about head height. And you're going to pull it all through. You want to try to get it as straight as possible. And then same thing. You got this black little loop. You take the carabiner that's on your rope. Clip it in there. Tighten it up. And then bam. And take that rope off and now you're you're in the saddle and then for comfort you got your hammock you throw that over your shoulders push it on your back Throw that in the carabiner. You can tighten it up, loosen it, whatever you want. You can be like this, or you can be like this, or you can even be like this. <laughs> whatever you want to do. I like the saddle because you have everything to your left. It's a solid shot. So if you got a spot you're hunting where you only expect them to be in one spot, like if you're hunting a field edge or something, and you got your saddle, fields on your left side, 
You are dead solid sitting down. Now with the gun, it's gonna be a little awkward because you're not gonna have a rest. But bow hunting, the saddles are perfect. Hawk saddle comes with a rope grab and I'll show you how to connect that on the rope. But yeah, once you do it once, you'll know what you're doing. You can sit like this. Pretty comfortable. You can sit like this. Which is pretty comfortable. You can sit like this. But I recommend you put a hanger here for your backpack. You can rest your knees on your backpack because if you don't, your knees are going to be hurting. Or the tethered also makes knee pads and pads that go around the tree and they're actually pretty decent. But all right, I'm going to show you how to connect the rope grab and how to pack it in. All right, so the rope grab. So this part is around the tree, right? And then you normally connect to this, right? So if you want to use a rope grab, this is the one that comes with the hawk. It is kind of loud. I kind of like using the ropes better. All right, so way to use the rope grab. Here it is. It swings open. All right. You got your rope around the tree. You're normally connected to this, right? You want to add this instead of using that. So you got this. You want to push that forward. Put your rope in there. And then shut it. And bam. Connect your carabiner to that. And you got a rope grab. And the way to move it up and down, you just push that in. Just a little bit, slide it, just like that. Pulling your carabiners in there, it's not going anywhere. Pull on as much as you want. It can move up, but it can't move down. All right, to pack all your gear in, the saddle, you're just gonna wear that. You don't have to, but I prefer to. It's better than getting it in and out of my backpack. So, you got your sticks. All connected together. Makes it somewhat compact. You got your platform folds up. They're all gonna do that. Um, so basically what you need, this is the backpack that I use. This is the backpack Jason sometimes uses. He has a bigger one, somewhat like this. No, I like to use big backpacks just because I like taking everything I need, you know. I like carrying the blow gun for some squirrels. Uh, I like carrying some rattling antlers. Got my water pack. Um, got plenty of food. Got my dopey, all my calls. I like to take everything because you never know when you're going to need it. I like to keep knives everything I need now this bag if you're planning on carrying light not gonna have much snacks not gonna have much gear this is what you need basically when you're looking for a backpack you want straps it's the biggest thing this backpack has many straps which is why I really like it it is big it is heavy but Pain is only temporary, you know what I'm saying? So, I like to have everything I need. This bag, pretty light. Basically, you want these straps because you're gonna wanna strap your sticks on the back. Just like this. Bam, bam. And on this bag, same thing. Straps. Bam, bam. Now the platform, you could also strap it on there if you really wanted to. But I just throw that on the top of my bag so it's there. You know? When you're climbing up in the tree, 
It's nice to have multiple carabiners, not just the ones that come with the saddle, but you want other carabiners to hold your platform, hold your sticks, because when you're climbing up, you don't want to have to climb up, put up a step, climb back down, grab another step, climb back up, put a step on, come back down, grab your platform. Jason put these little loops on here. So orange cords, these are so he can loop and connect his carabiner to his saddle. You can put the carabiners pretty much anywhere. You can put them through these loops. You can put them through right there. Just as long as you're connected to them so they're right there and you can just grab them and climb up the tree and never have to climb back down. Connect your bag and your bow to your rope and bam. Once you're in the tree, you can just pull your stuff up and bam. All right. I hope this video was informative for you. Tried my best. I think I covered everything I needed to. If you have any questions, just comment below. We'll answer them as soon as possible. If you have any more how-tos you wanna know, leave it in the comments. DM us on Instagram at professional underscore hunters if you have any more video suggestions or questions, we'll be happy to answer. Like the video if you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more. Thanks for watching, this is Jackson, Professional Hunters, peace out. Back down. Think I can, but I can't.